Hello, in this first chapter of the book, we're going to be looking at Newtonian mechanics. Uh, so Newtonian mechanics at its core is about bodies. So a body is any collection of matter that we're going to choose to analyze. And in mechanics, we're specifically looking at the relationship between forces uh, and things like position, velocity, and acceleration uh, that we can specify for the body. Uh, we're also going to be looking at moments and the relationship that that has with orientation, angular velocity, and angular acceleration. Uh, so all of this, all of the uh, relationship is defined by Newton's laws of motion. So Newton's first law says a body at rest tends to stay at rest, a body in motion tends to stay at motion. Uh, if we kind of quantify that, uh, we get Newton's second law. So Newton's second law is force is equal to mass times acceleration. Uh, and then finally, Newton's third law uh, is for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Uh, Newton meant force, so for every force, there's an equal and opposite force in a system. So collectively, these are Newton's uh, laws of motion, uh, and they form the basis of all of the mechanic, mechanics courses. Uh, and in this, we're going to use these laws of motion uh, to do what, what's known as equilibrium analysis in engineering statics, uh, or kinetic analysis uh, in uh, dynamics courses. Uh, and one of the tools, one of the things that's discussed in this chapter as well, is the idea of a free body diagram. So a free body diagram looks at the body and describes all the forces and moments acting on that body uh, in a nice, neat, kind of tidy diagram. Uh, and so that is going to be used in both equilibrium analysis and kinetic analysis. All right, that's all we have for the intro for this chapter. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again.